what's going on everybody january flowers here your favorite home girl and if you're seeing me then you know it's time to get into episode two of close friends this is a show that's on now nest tv and this episode should basically be called the run up episode because we do get roxy versus k we get j versus egypt and towards the end we start seeing the beef between sierra and shakira child let's get straight into it if you are new to my channel welcome i do recaps on reality tv mostly in the urban sector sometimes i jump into scripted series but most recently i've been looking for things to fill that gap in between baddies and things like that and just seeing what else is out there if you are returning to the channel welcome back pool i know y'all was telling me on last week's video to keep recapping and that you guys were interested so i will keep going i want y'all to know that will y'all sit back relax because you're chilling with your home girl now let's get into this tea yeah one thing that now Ness tv and zeus does have in common is that they will hold on to a scene honey when i tell y'all this roxy and k situation could have been done edited within a clean 20 minutes but they dragged it out so i'm gonna explain it the best that i saw so when the girls get straight off the sprinter we see that jay came outside the house ready to street dust whoever was getting on roxy nerves roxy said that she wanted egypt right the whole time she got K and I felt like Roxy you went up against who you wanted even though she kept saying she wanted Egypt because her and Egypt have previous beef coming to find out they did a show called Side Chicks is it Side Chicks of LA or something like that they did a show and basically Roxy feels as though Egypt doesn't like her and she's not being genuine about it Egypt on the other hand says that she doesn't favor Roxy because Roxy is a tag along so long story short is miscommunication it's the girls not standing on big business in real life and now it's drawn over to the show so we got the girls going at it and it's obvious that Roxy is intoxicated you can tell by her movements and her slurring but she is ready to go there side note Big Lex why are you being a confessional gangster I don't know if she's trying to keep the show funny or being a confessional gangster because in her confessional she was like yeah i see diamond is on the show but she said diamond ain't really pressed me all diamond been doing is checking in on a fight with the girls like that right and i was like well big legs do you really think the girls you cast for the show or allegedly approved for your show will run in and straight run up against you you did the same thing with egypt when they asked you what you think about egypt you was like well she's a good girl she's just more like a leech and stuff like that I understand it's your show, but you want people to come out for your show, right? Sometimes her digs don't make sense, but she said all that about Diamond in her confessional. I'm not afraid to fight. Um, she said, um, Diamond ain't saying nothing to me, so I'm gonna let her go ahead and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, Lux. Now, ding, 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 we get Roxy versus K, and I'm gonna say, uh, for Roxy, you handling K look like it was slight work, honey. You said a walk up, a walk up, a walk and worked her out in real time. Now, I will give Kay this. Kay, you was never nervous. You you never gave scared tease. You didn't even get subtle shiver tea. You know what I'm saying? Roxy did scoop you up and weighed you down. But, you know, you didn't give scared. I will give you that. So, in the midst of all that, Roxy is trying to explain that she wanted Egypt. She said, I really want Egypt. Egypt don't want to say this. Egypt um, ends up walking towards the brawl. Now, this is where we get Jay versus Egypt. Because Jay was jumping around the whole time. Talking about, what you going to do? What you get ready to do? When Roxy already had done the K, that's when Egypt started to walk up. So that's when Roxy went, I mean, Jay. Jay went down there to get Egypt. When I tell y'all Egypt grabbed this girl up, oh, well, walk up, boom, and slammed Jay. Now, mind you, I felt like Egypt was a little smaller than Jay, but Egypt managed to get Jay up, a oh, walk up, boom, 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 and started working her on her face when she got her down on the ground. Y'all, when um, Jay stood up, all I'm going to say is, what's the best example I can give? Let me give y'all a good example. When that girl stood up, all I'm going to say is one eye was like this one and one eye was like this. Are you serious? I can gaze into life's future. Yes! You might think my life is a dream. That's so rave game. That girl, it was sitting on lean. When Jay stood up, she said, I don't care. 
I don't care. I never said I was a brawler, but I'm not afraid to brawl. We like, girl, your eye has turned into a flotation device. I'm just like, girl. She was just like, I never said I was a top brawler, but I'm not afraid to brawl. We like, Jay, you walked into a situation you wasn't needed, sis. Egypt was running up because she was being called up, sis. Child, Jay got that eye sitting on gangster lean. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I do have to say, Big Lex was funny when Big Lex said, drop, <laughs> drop. <laughs> when she said, boom, when they showed Jay being dropped, Big Lex was fun. T, I, maybe she's here to host and do comedic relief. Because I'm not going to lie, Big Lex, that was funny when you was like, drop, drop, boom, boom. And they started playing it back again. That that was funny. Roxy and Jay go back and forth with Kay in Egypt over who's sleeping with security because the security guards were really protective of Egypt and um, Kay versus Roxy and Jay, which is true. Roxy and Jay were more the aggressors, so they were kind of out there. But security huddled around the other girls, which made sense. But it eventually gets to round two when we see that Jay manages to get to Egypt. Now, in this round, Jay redeemed herself. She said, I walk up, I walk up, I walk up. A walk out and was redeeming herself but I don't know how well that redemption went because it looked like Egypt busted her face open I don't know if you guys have ever opened a can of biscuits like the kind that you put in the oven not the ones made from scratch you know the ones that you could get in the tube if you ever was like a kid or an adult and you dropped one from a high level and it just a walk out that's how that face looked like it was gashed open from Egypt. And I'm like, Ja or Jay, whichever one, when do you learn to stop running up on this girl? The brawl was never for you. Everybody keeps saying that you trying to jump in Roxy Beef. I can only imagine if they go at it again at the reunion, what it's going to get. But it's looking like, girl, I can tell you've been crying and you need somebody to talk to. That's what it's giving. Like, Jay, what's the real beef? You keep saying, I'm no brawler. And every time you get up, you have a new like astonishing wound it's not little wounds sis but yeah they end up going back and forth um she get um egypt's wig off jay and roxy are celebrating and then big lex and all the other girls start celebrating egypt egypt and Kay leaving and i was so confused like the whole house didn't like them and i was like this is wild they just joined the cast so we see egypt and k actually leaving out and all the other girls get on a sprinter to have a spa night a girl's night out after a girl's night of brawling this was funny before they hit out and they, and they finished picking rooms and stuff diamond body did have a funny moment when she said dang she said i couldn't help but keep looking at um gi she said it was giving me flashbacks to michelle from deja vu house season one and side note to that Roxy kept yelling at in one of their arguments. I was supposed to be on Deja Vu else. I was supposed to be on. So is Egypt okay going to be on the next season? What's going on? Child crying over being on a show. Make your own show. How about that? Before K leave out, K was like, pull me up. Pull me up. Because they not paying me enough to keep brawling this big back talking about Roxy. So now Ness TV decided to be shady and actually look up K name. Um, now Ness TV has been on it this episode. They've been editing and clips and doing all this stuff. So they pulled up K record. First of all, they couldn't find K name to the third try. Child. So when they found her, they found out she got all type of lineups and back records and pow pows and she said that in the episode she pointed right at Roxy and she said don't worry sweetie mind you Roxy was oddly calm she said don't worry sweetie and she did a certain hand motion I can't do in this video you know what they gonna do she did a, cer a certain hand motion to Roxy and Roxy was like hmm mm, like that and I'm like girl you better be lucky because if she does not mind doing years like she said I did three years for it like that She'll do it again and she said it. You better be lucky I ain't go to that purse. And that's what she told her, huh? But Roxy made sure to tell Kay and Egypt when they were leaving. She said, now that's TV not paying you any more than they paid you. She said, who you think you are? She said, you ain't been on no shows. She said, I was supposed to be on Deja Vu House. That's when she said that line. So we see all the girls dressed and they leave out. And we see a situation happen between Sierra and Big Lex on a sprinter. So Sierra gives me chaotic energy. She kind of reminds me of Slim. 
Prim from Baddie Cells. Now, her energy is very chaotic. And um, Big Lex said they were on a sprinter. They were sitting right next to each other. Because remember, Sierra said Big Lex invited her personally to do her show. So they were sitting next to each other on a sprinter. And that's when Sierra was like looking for an outlet. They said she's an outlet demon. She was looking for outlets all on the bus because her phone was getting ready to die. Her man was talking to her. I'm going to tell you something. And I feel like we all had that one, have that one friend where they like, um, you know, my phone get ready to die, but I'm talking to my man like that. Like, girl, let the phone die. When it gets to that point, it may be, I don't, I don't want to say it's toxic, but like you couldn't put your phone down for a minute, girl. You on TV. But she was running around looking for outlet to outlet demon. And that's when she spilled her drink on Big Lex. And Big Lex said, oh, no, you don't. She was like, you see this purse? She said, you see this purse? She said, this purse is a limited edition um, market. Jacobs or whatever she said. She said you spill liquor on this purse and that's when Big Lex got up. She was like y'all can't even afford this purse and got up on the chair. <laughs> and that's when she went to the back of the bus right. So she went to the back of the bus and Sierra like frantically looking around and like and then she like tie up her hair. So all the girls are now on the opposite side of the sprinter and Sierra is sitting back there by herself. So Sierra just looking around and Sierra get up and she like, I just want to talk to her. Walking towards Big Lex. So that's when security like, hold up, baby girl. Slow up. And she said, Lex, I'm not going to swing. I just want to talk to you. And that's when Lex said, what you trying to say to me? I can see you. And that's when she said, I just want to let you know it's no beef. I just was trying to plug in my phone, but I just want to let you know personally it's no beef. And that's when um, Shakira said something. And Shakira feels as though Sierra took her aggression out on her because she couldn't get it out on Big Lex. I don't feel as though that's the case. I will say this. I feel as though when some people are already upset and they hear people making comments, sometimes it amplifies the situation. So when Shakira, I guess, said that was a bit much, that's when Sierra went off and was like, what you talking about? What you say to me? And Shakira was like, you don't want it with me, Sierra. They start going back and forth. So it was giving me that Lex kind of wanted to defer the smoke. She was like, oh, Sierra, you need to be mad at Shakira not me because da 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 and she she was like what you walking back here for so it was giving me Lex didn't want to smoke Shakira took the smoke for her and next week it's gonna be Sierra versus Shakira this is where the episode cuts off we see that they are in a spa going crazy big Lex was like why y'all doing this in front of the Asian community <laughs> I did think that was funny because it was all Asians working on their bodies and feet. So, you know, um, what did I think about episode two? I, I did chuckle. I laughed way more than episode one. And I have to tell you something. Um, out of all the shows in my queue to watch and review for the channel, I watched this one first. And I know it's the, the least production, you know, lowest quality, whatever. But it's funny. And I see the efforts that they're trying to do with their edits and things like that. As far as the girls, it is a few. It was only nine. And now that two girls allegedly left, they might be back. You know how this show go. We're down to seven. A solid seven seven girls and it's still entertaining i have room to get to know them these girls are having scenes and moments on their own <laughs> i love it so now we have seven girls but i have a feeling egypt and k might come back i don't know i didn't see them in the clip for next week but you know it is what it is as far as standouts for the episode k definitely stood out to me because she wasn't fearful um of course egypt stood out to me i didn't know she was heavy-handed you know, Lex stood out to me because I'm like, what's what's giving Lex? You know, what's giving? Lex was fun tea, y'all. It was another scene <laughs> where Lex was walking up the hallway and the girl was standing right there and said, can I get an ice pack? Can I get an ice pack for my eye? And that's when Lex came up there and we just look, looked at the girl eye. It was so funny because she looked like she was so concerned that she going to turn around and look at the camera like... <laughs> That scene was too funny. I actually rewinded it like three times. It was like non-verbal, but it was so funny. Yo, she walked up to her like a mother, like, what you done got yourself into now? 
uh-huh and just gonna look at the camera like that that was funny this has been a recap of episode two i appreciate you guys for spending time with me like the video thumbs up the video and subscribe because i will be back to recap episode three i'm also going to watch um bad versus wild and baddies caribbean so make sure you stay tuned drop me a comment below let me know what you thought about this episode this recap it's your home girl and remember this do the best you can with what you got and i will see you on my next video bye oh lord have mercy